Hello, my name is Blair Phillips, and I'm going to show you a quick video today that I call a town that went from dying to thriving, and I want to show you how it did it through the power of prayer. Right here, as we look at the southern suburbs of Kansas City, you come to Grandview. Grandview is a town of about 25 to 30,000 people, and uh, historically it has struggled a lot. Uh, to the point that in the American Recession in 2008, it was ranked as being in the top 10 fastest dying cities in America by the Forbes magazine. But as you will see, right up here is a mission space that hosts 24-7 worship and prayer constantly for the last 17 years. And in Grandview is the university of this mission space that trains missionaries in prayer. Now, here in 2016, just eight years after that prediction of Grandview dying, we have 35,000 jobs that will be implemented in the next 10 years. The biggest player of this is the Cerner campus, which is just three miles north. It is estimated to bring 16,000 employees in the next 10 years and 15,000 indirect jobs. That is massive, that's 31,000 just in itself. Right down here we have two other players, which is the Honeywell International, estimated to bring 2,000 new jobs. And right across the road, the Centerpoint Intermodal Center, which will be a huge rail shipping yard, and that will bring another 2,000 new jobs, also in the next 10 years. One of the more exciting ones is the Gateway Sports Village. This is a $300 million investment that the Kansas City is making into Grandview to take the first steps of making Kansas City the soccer capital of America. And so it will have 14 soccer fields, it will have hotels, it will have field houses, other sports complex, and that alone will increase the money flow, residential flow, and business in Grandview, Missouri. This is the power of a city that prays and that the Lord Jesus Christ can revive what is called dying.